Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. From the six. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Going to the air right away, Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Lawrence. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Looking to throw, Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. From midfield now, Lawrence. He'll get this one complete to Zay Jones. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Lawrence now off the bootleg. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. It's showtime, baby. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Lawrence to throw. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Demarcus Walker just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And that false start penalty certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Here's Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. 
And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. No surprise they decided to throw on third down. A little bit of a surprise that they completed the pass and lost yardage on the play. Here's Logan Cook now to punt this one away. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air, and that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. So here are the Bears banked up to start their initial drive. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Starting on the ground with Herbert. And he'll be hit and dropped for a loss at the five-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Here's Foreman. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to 11 on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. On first and 10, it's Herbert. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Fields on third down. Looks for the out route, and it's complete to commit. And he will have the Bears first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Good protection there on third down. This is just a simple flip to his tight end outside the numbers, and he's able to haul it in and pick up the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Here's Fields. And again, back to Komet. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go, but you're right, that's a heck of a start. Yeah, and I think this is where the play caller is looking at his play sheet and saying, to have that dagger play, to have that play and just finish them off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. A handoff for Herbert. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down.
clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Now it's Fields. And that is incomplete. Jacksonville's pass defense holds serve. Fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this won't get there, won't be online either. It's no good, off to the right, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. They'll start on the ground, ETN. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Lawrence. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Looked like a pretty smart decision that time to keep the football by the quarterback. It was because you saw how the runner get swarmed. So you've got to pull the ball from his arms, keep it yourself, and get what you can. And the most underrated player on this play is the running back. Because even if he doesn't have the ball, he has to act like he does in order to attract the defense. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Lawrence. Open man is Kirk, complete. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And one more time, here's Kirk. And he'll be brought down at about the 23-yard line. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Throwing now, Lawrence on first down. Flushed out right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to make sure you give your receiver a chance to come down inbounds because they are very gifted. They'll make the circus catches, but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. Escaping the pressure right. 
And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. The improv act there, good for nine. And now they'll be looking at a third and short, third and one. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent game. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And Jones has it over the middle. And the Jags are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want it to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. Five yards from the end zone, first and goal. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. From the gun, it's Lawrence. And this is incomplete. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Lawrence will throw. Flush to his right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when you're not finishing with points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. The kick by McManus is good. And the Jaguars grab a 3-0 lead. Well, both teams kind of feeling each other out here. And now after three drives, we have a score with that field goal. Yeah, they're still waiting for their breakout drive to come to them, all right? They're using the playbook well. They're looking for that extra section that says touchdowns instead of field goals. But they'll take the three for now and try and get set up for more later. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, get this a little time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. Here's a give to Herbert. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest.
Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. On second down, a run with Herbert. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. So we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line to throw his fields. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. There they run the option on second down. That will go for nine yards and a first down on the keeper. Second quarter, two minutes remain, 3-0 our score. On first down, it's Fields, complete on the quick throw to Moore. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Back to throw. Fields. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have taken the lead. Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. And especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. A gain of eight there on the play. And yeah, that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. Now Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Lawrence. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half.
On first down, Lawrence. Jones has it. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and three. It's a throw again as Lawrence. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 32-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw Lawrence. Eluding the pressure right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. He connected on his first, this from 41. The kick by McManus is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. Takes it at the seven. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First up, though, a look at the next-gen stats for Jacksonville in that first half. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set to resume, here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick from the six. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. 
Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. Now a first down throw, Fields. A throw left side taken in by Komet. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games, and, and we're seeing a pretty good one right now. Hotly contested in the third quarter. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Throwing again on second down. Fields. That pass complete to Moore. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. They run the option here on first and 10. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Well, anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. From just shy of midfield, Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 34-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Herbert down to about the 32. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. Here's Fields. Locates Mooney on the out route. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 21. 11 yards for number 11. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Here's Herbert. And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense gets a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They'll go option to the short side. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Typically on the read option play, when we talk about responsibilities, we're talking about what the quarterback has to go through. How about the inside linebacker, though? His job on this play, shadow the quarterback and hold him to a short gain. Did it to perfection. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll run the option on third and short yardage. 
And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields with his second touchdown of the night. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And, in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what terrifies them. Santos with the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away taken from about the 12 and he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42 great return here comes the Jags offense now time for their first possession of half number two and they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive They'll start this drive out on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. And they'll go again with ETN. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And Ingram holds it in. And he is going to have a Jags first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. On first and ten, it's ETN. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A handoff running left is ETN. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Now Lawrence to throw. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And that will keep the lead at eight. I don't care who you are. 60 yards is a very ambitious attempt. Hard to make even in practice in the best of conditions. 
And now, worst of all, you give the other guys the ball to start their drive at midfield. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, well, I'm going I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. That's Foley Fadukasi who got in there and finished off the play. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. I thought they were going to sack him there like they did on first down. Great coverage, but he found a way to move with his legs. Yeah, his ability to take off. Not only did he get some yardage back, he got a little bit extra. Really helps him on third down. Makes it manageable now. The Bears on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. On third down, Herbert. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, here's Fields. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight yard line. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know. Bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. <laughs> So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Fields. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Fields. The quick slant caught. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Fields tapping it forward, jet sweep. And he will fight his way in, not giving up there, and he's got a Bears touchdown. Cole Komet, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. 
Santos able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away this one fielded at the five the lane opens here he's past the 30 and it'll end there as he goes out of bounds but a heck of a return all the way inside the opposite 40 there's no downplaying that we all knew that this was a critical possession and to get a return like that to start things off that's the spark that they needed that's the spark they were looking for Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Lawrence. They'll try and set up the screen to ETN. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple. And it's second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. To throw again on second down, Lawrence. And yeah, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit four of seven. This is third down and 12. Now Lawrence. Finds his tight end, Ingram. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Play action. It's Lawrence. They'll get this out to the flat for ETN. Just a gain of a couple there. And that will bring up second down. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Here's Lawrence to throw. And he's got a man, Calvin Ridley. And he is going to have a Jags first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. There's been nothing but field goals for this offense so far, and I think this time they've said to themselves, let's put an end to that and put one in the end zone. Nice job there to pick up the conversion on third down and keep this drive moving. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Now Lawrence. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. And they'll try the jet sweep with Kirk. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. 
Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Calvin Ridley, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars' decision to go for it pays off with six points. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Calvin Ridley who finishes it off with a touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense... They just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run with Foreman, and he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action, a timeout here defensively. They run again with Foreman. And this will be a Bears first down as good running gets him to about the 44. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11. They'll run, it's Herbert. And he's gonna have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road. 
but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.